Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. This is July 7th, 2020, Tuesday. Let's see what's going on for today. Let's see how our soul will grow today. What are the what are the messages for the 7th of July 2020? Okay. All right. Let's see what's happening for today. All right. Wow. Funny I said, it, it is kind of interesting how I said, right? What is our spirit? What is our soul's growth for our spirit to ascend to a new level of understanding? We are working on our path. We are on path, right? We're on path. Every day is a new day to be on path the path of spirit, right? The yin and the yang, right? Here's, here's the yin and the yang. All right. And the giving and receiving of love, right? Most important value that one can hold within is the giving and receiving of love, balanced love, divine love. It's all about the it's all about service to others. How are you serving others? Are you, you know, volunteering even if we can't be, let's say, physically volunteering? I mean, some are out picking up, you know, stuff off the beach. Or, you know, picking up garbage in Mother Earth, right? Whatever service that you do, even if it's a phone call saying, Hi, I was thinking about you. How, how are you doing? That's the spiritual path. That's the path that we're all on. So understand that giving and receiving is the spiritual path. However that is for you, however you can balance that out is what spirit wants you to know is most important for one's happiness, right? Doesn't it feel good? I mean, let me use this example. It's Christmas, right? And when you're a kid, you're like, oh my God, I wonder what mom and dad got me. Oh, I'm so excited. The presents are under the... The presents are all under the tree. It's exciting. You can't wait to get downstairs to see how many gifts you got. You're shaking the boxes in anticipation, right? With great anticipation. You can't even breathe. You can't even sleep because you can't wait for to receive the gifts that you, that you, you know, ask Santa for, right? And then you become a parent. And now the beauty of that is reciprocated because you can't wait for your children to see the look on their faces when they are opening the gifts that you gave them. So the reciprocity and the spiritual path is one of the same, whereby we, we grow up in our families we are being gifted, we are gifted the gifts that our parents have so kindly given us of love in whatever way, shape, or form it looked like, and now we're giving back to our children. That's the way of spirit. And giving back in whatever way, with or without having, you know, you don't need per se to have, these could be, the giving of, you know, uh, rescuing dogs, receive the giving and receiving in whatever fashion 
that is. Why? Because, I, as I've said, and you, if you follow me, you know, we pray with both hands, becoming one. The right hand is giving, the left hand is receiving. It's reciprocity, and this is reciprocity. How are you giving back to humanity? How are you giving back to your family? Your family of animals and people and places and things, right? Do you care about Mother Earth? Do you see it? Do you see yourself serving? And how do you serve on a daily basis, right? One kind thing, one kind thing that's said and or done, right? Makes you feel so good inside. And it does make you feel good inside. You can't wait for your children to open up those gifts on Christmas. So now we hold on to those memories. We hold them near and dear to our hearts, right? We hold every memory Every person that has touched our lives, we hold them near and dear. And then we create with great passion and we move on. Not in a bad way. We just, re we're, re we're recollecting. This is a recollection of the memories of what we have, what we hold on to. This is what spirit is asking us to do. Hold on to the beautiful memories of life, of your childhood. Think of the beauty that that brings and how your soul expands when you think of the times and you're reminiscing because this is the queen of wands. She's reminiscing. She's holding on to those beautiful memories of childhood, of her childhood and of what that means, like the traditional values as well of how she grew up. I say she because it's the queen here. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the king. It doesn't matter. We have masculine and feminine within. She and or he. Okay? So it's about looking back over a beautiful life of growing up and then having your kids and seeing how that cycle of happiness in your your heart just your heart just like is bursting with joy and happiness because you recall the 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 what selfless the selfless love of your parents and your siblings right I mean, not everyone had a bad childhood. So the, the point is take the memories that are good and feel really good about, about who you are now, today. Take this as, you know, take this with you when all the chaos and drama is going on in the world. It's going on out there. Put, where's your happy place? And what are you giving back now in your life to get that feeling back again? Right? Okay. It's a very, very nice reading. The sentiment is off the chain. The king of... So we have two kings here. Look, this could have been your parents. This could be your parents. Right? King of Pentacles... King of King of Wands, parents meaning masculine, feminine. No matter what, someone is valuing how they grew up, valuing the um, the valuing and understanding the reciprocity of giving and taking, and understanding that now.
So when we reminisce, right? And when we think of our parents and our childhood and our life today, because most of my viewers are, you know, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, etc. Right? Doesn't matter the age, but in the, in this regard, we must re always remember and hold on to the memories of being playful and fun and happy. Right? Don't let these memories go. Don't let these memories go. And don't let it that impart anything else except grow love within your heart space because that's what spirit is saying today. May all the children of the world, I mean, truly, on a global scale, this is God with the children and what has been given and received the love the protection, the protection of children, not only in our lives reminiscing, but also in the external, appreciating and valuing what we have, what we, how we grew up. And some, even those, even those who grew up in homes that were, let's say, broken, because we're all broken. It doesn't matter. Take, just keep the happy times. Just, oh, just one memory of a happy time will help you to move into a whole different vibe. It'll, ride, it'll raise your spirits, right? Even if it's just a conversation with, oh my God, I remember a conversation I had staying late at night, late at night up with my sister. So we value, we, what do you place, the, the thing is, <laughs> and I'm actually, I see it here. This is the true enlightenment. This is the true value of life right here. This is what gives us life. This is what brings it all together is the love that we hold and hang on to. Hang on to that love. Hang on to these moments, especially with, with what's happening today. Keep the love within you strong and the memories very vivid memories. Maybe some of you are now, because we are in cancer season, so it's it's more emotional. And we are reminiscing because all the retrograde planets, the other planets, Venus, Venus is, is direct now. So it's, and so the Mercury is in, I believe Mercury is retrograde. So it doesn't matter. It's, it is hard for us to, it's better for us to feel our way through these memories than to speak of them because our experiences are better felt and not spoken. That's what I wanted to say. So take, look at the memories of our childhood. Always remember them fondly with great love. People, places, and things not only your childhood, but don't let it become a burden. Don't let it become a burden. Even if it was difficult, right? Even if it was difficult. If your child, and that's what this is. If your childhood was difficult, just bring out some, just try to remember something that made you happy. Was it going for ice cream in the summertime? Was it listening to old, you know, old music or whatever music you were listening to? Was it playing guitar? Was it writing? Was it creating, you know, 
creating something that you love to do? Is it remember riding your bicycle? Keep those memories. Right? The first time you kissed a boy or a girl. Those memories are ch cherish them. Because that, these memories are going to get us through. And the love that you give to your children and or your parents, the reciprocity now if your parents are older and they need your help. I mean, that's what reciprocity is. Your parents raised you now. You know, it's just the way of the world. It's, it's of course, of course, I'm going to take care of my parents. Of course, I'm going to show them love and go over and call them and make sure they're okay. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying. You know, it's, it's all of that. Okay. And all of that means just remembering the priceless. You cannot put a price on love. It is about practicing compassion. Look how beautiful. The depiction is a child, see? So it's all about our children, the love that we have for our children, and the love that God has for the children. And we are the children. See things from a different perspective, right? Look, you know? Don't you remember hanging from the trees or doing headstands? You know, when we're children, we are the children. We are all the children of God. And however you, you take this, you know, it's up to you. It's your life. This, this little girl is so connected with Mother Earth. She's talking to that bird telepathically because she's childlike and she understands the connection. The only thing that is real is love. And that is the message. Shift your focus from problems that we're having back to love because that truly is the only thing and I'm telling you remember this reading the only thing that is going to save us as the children is love have a great day